What is up, guys? Teen Toppy Booty Hunter here with another video. And this time, this is gonna be another episode of Pros and Cons. And we are doing this on none other than, I'll be real, personally, one of my favorite content creators. I, I, I gotta admit, I do watch a bit of this guy's stuff. His name is Finn McKenty, a.k.a. The Punk Rock NBA, bro. I've watched a good bit of this guy's stuff for years. And I'll even admit, he's definitely inspired me a bit when it comes to, like, some of my content and all that type of stuff. Uh, but before I talk about that, I definitely do want to do this. And this is... Congratulate Finn McKenty and his girlfriend, who, forgive me if I don't know or remember her name. Um, congratulations, I think, on their baby girl or baby boy. I have no idea. I didn't bother to really find out. But either way, congratulations to those two. Well, now, with that being said, this is pros and cons on the one and only Finn McKenty. And I'm going to, of course, start off with the pros but before i get into that i want to kind of explain this series it's basically kind of like if you are subscribed to my channel you know about the top 10 rules you know about the top 10 sucks think of this series as a combination of both those two five good reasons and five bad reasons five good or the pros five bad or the cons but let's get into the five pros and starting with number one, honestly, he is an innovator of the music review scene, just like Anthony Fantano. I've even, like I said before, he's even inspired me a bit when it comes to doing some of my music reviews, you know, that I've done over the years and stuff like that. So I definitely got to give the guy props on that. Uh, despite whatever your opinions are of him, he's definitely has been one of the innovators for as long as he's been around on YouTube. Definitely got to give him props on that. And the second pro is he gives advice to aspiring content creators on how to network and grow their channel, which that which that's honestly pretty cool, man, because with a lot of content creators, it generally try they're generally kind of out for themselves more than anything and kind of more worried about you know what's going on with their channel and not so much like trying to help other content creators and stuff which i guess that's not bad but you know it, it's good that you have someone like finn mckenty out that actually does want to try to try his best at least to you know help out smaller creators and see how they can grow their brands and you know not try to scam them into anything so big props to finn once again on that man that's pretty dope in pro number three he doesn't try to be a nostalgia channel uh even though he probably could be it probably would be easier for him too he probably would get more views that way who knows but he doesn't really try to be that way he actually does try to spotlight new artists which is something I, I definitely do appreciate. And frankly, something that I really want to try to do more of on my channel as well. Uh, I don't, I mean, I do try to talk about music as much as I can, but I clearly like to talk about more other stuff. But even when I talk about music, I don't tend to really talk that much about newer artists, which I kind of want to start doing that. Kind of want to start getting into newer music because uh, even though it's a bit hard because I've never it, it just seems like most new music does not really go out of its way to really be as like it really kind of be as adventurous as like the older stuff but I don't want to really get too deep into that I can make my own video on my problems with newer music and stuff nowadays this is not the video for that uh, but yeah, I definitely, uh, that's definitely a cool thing that he does spotlight newer artists and stuff like that. Um, 
he's one of the few like sort of i guess like rock based channels that really kind of does that so that's pretty awesome and also pro number four despite how people perceive him or yeah how people perceive him he is a stand at times he does i, I think he does generally genuinely seem like a stand-up guy and a very well-intentioned guy like yeah despite you know how he can come off at times in his videos he seems like a very well-intentioned dude and i, I appreciate that seriously uh, there's someone that's like seriously genuine doesn't try to put on a you know a front or anything like that so once again that's awesome man all right and the last pro which is the guy, I, I remember he said he's only been around since, I believe, like 2017 or something like that, which is impressive. Speaking of someone who's been around since 2012, this guy has become such a success in such a short time on YouTube. It's already hard to become a success as it is on YouTube, but to do it in such a, like, but to do it not even really being on YouTube like that long, even though that seems like a long time. But I, I guess like with YouTube and how everything moves so fast in this platform, it doesn't seem like really that long of a time. So the fact that he's done that is really, really cool, man. But I guess now that I've gotten the pros out of the way, unfortunately, man, got to get to the cons. I got to get to the things that I don't like after speaking about the things I do like. It's time to now get into the things that I don't like. And maybe these are things that I'm sure people who have seen or heard of Finn McKenty or the Punk Rock NBA will agree with. Or maybe they won't. These are just generally things that I kind of pick up and I kind of notice that kind of rub me a little bit the wrong way about them. But nevertheless, con number one. I mean, like it's like. He seems to like he calls himself like a music channel or his thing seems to be like about like music. But it seems to really be more about the business aspect than art. I, I don't know. I, it's like you call yourself the punk rock NBA. It's like, I, I don't know, man. It's, it's like not that you can't talk about music in business, but. I would say try to find a better line between those two. So, because uh, it's like you just seem more like a business channel than anything. Either that, or hell, make a separate channel about the business stuff. Like that's what I would recommend personally. But anyways, that's just the thing I noticed. It's very small thing. It's very minute. It's like, but it's something I noticed. That's just like he calls himself punk rock NBA, but he mainly talks more about business and all that stuff. Call yourself maybe the business NBA. I don't fucking know, but. Maybe Punk Rock NBA sounds better. But on to con number two. He references Spotify way too much as a credible, as, you know, a credible source of the general audience, which with, of like the general music audience, which that's all well and good. And a lot of people do use Spotify, but I don't think that really speaks to like every music fan like that doesn't speak for a whole lot of music fans out there you know rather they're old or young some people generally don't really use spotify like that i've used spotify before i even have like my spotify playlist on my you know on my uh on the description of some of my videos but i haven't really used it much lately because i've mainly just been kind of more in favor of youtube music simply because you are able to really find a lot more stuff with that than you are with Spotify. It seems their range of content seems to be kind of limited compared to YouTube music. But again, that's just me. That's why I kind of say that like Spotify doesn't speak so much for the entire music. Uh, like it doesn't really speak so much for a lot of music people because i believe a lot of people even though a lot of people use spotify there's also a lot of people that don't use spotify so i it's like i don't kind of like how he always references that like uses that as the only point of reference maybe try 
like other platforms, like thinking of other platforms and stuff like that. But again, just me. Um, also, on to con number three. Sorry about that. I completely forgot to turn the slide. Dear Lord. <laughs> uh, but yeah, on to con number three. He does seem needlessly antagonistic, especially to metalheads. Um, to metalheads a lot of the time, which I've made a few videos. I don't really believe that they were antagonistic towards metalheads. Uh, it was just really my kind of thoughts, but most videos he makes seems to be very antagonistic, mostly of metal, like mostly of like fan, like metal fans and stuff like that. And so especially when it, he talks more about like kind of more the pop music being uh, somewhat better than metal, which in some aspects I agree, but I don't know, man. It just seems like he's kind of almost trying to start like a war or something. I don't think maybe that's not what he's doing. He may not be doing that, but that's just kind of what it seems like to me whenever he does a lot of those videos. You know, he'll reference is like, um, what the fuck is that uh, new chick or whatever? Charlie, um, Charlie XCX, uh, XCX is some fucking shit. You know, he, uh, yeah, he'll uh, reference her or whatever and. You know, it's like he doesn't really seem to show a lot of love to what, like, you know, there's even the, like, punk rock stuff. He, he really doesn't. As a matter of fact, that's actually what I'm going to talk about in this fourth con. Ironically, he's called the punk rock NBA, but he doesn't really talk that much about punk or really show that much love to punk music, which he has made a video about, but... I don't know, man. It just still kind of seems it, it like not that he can't still call himself the punk rock NBA, but it seems incredibly ironic that he does still call himself the punk rock NBA when he really talks more about other genres such as uh, pop, such as trap metals, uh, such as pop punk, you know, and like other things such as that. It doesn't really talk very much about like punk rock um, from a general aspect, really. But again, that's just something. But yeah, that's another thing I noticed. And on to the last thing, which is con number five. Not going to lie. He can be very condescending at times, especially with videos like you're seeing here, like female fronted. It's like, even though he is, he does seem like a well-intentioned guy. The, the thing about it is when he makes videos like that, he seems very, it seems very condescending. It, it, it almost seems like he's, uh, I guess, making, trying to make people almost feel bad for not liking or not being into as much uh, female fronted bands. I, I don't really think that's so much. I'm sure in some ways it's a misogynist uh, type of deal with some people, you know, with some people, uh, some rock fans, some metal, uh, metal heads, whatever. It's probably a bit of that. I'm not going to say it isn't at all, but that, that, if anything, I think that's like a very big that's that's a bit of a minority when it comes to like metal fans and rock fans and all that stuff i don't think it's really fair to try to like box them in with that sort of thing uh because you know not enough female fronted bands get attention like that you know maybe people it's like here's the thing i'm not a fan of spirit box i've listened to spirit box i really don't think they're that great it really does not have shit to do with the singer. I could not give two fucks about the singer. I couldn't give two fucks if she's female, male, or in between. I really couldn't give a fuck less. I just don't like Spirit Box. Um, yeah, and then other female fronted bands and stuff like that. And then, you know, those other female fronted bands that, you know, not really as big a fan. I've never really been into Evanescence, you know. 
I've never really been that much to Evanescence like that, like, at all. I just, ugh, yeah, never did it for me. And not to say I don't like female-fronted groups at all, because that's just, nah, I, I think that's just be crazy. There's female-fronted bands I do like. I like Kitty. You know, I'm a fan. You know, I've... I actually like Bikini Kill. Uh, yeah, I've listened to a few of their songs. Uh, what you call it? Yeah, I've listened to a few of their songs. I like L Seven. Been yeah, totally huge fans of them. But yeah, and like, and then there was also another video um, that he talked about. I guess he talked. Uh, he talked about Lincoln Park um, and all that. And, you know, there's a part about Chester, uh, I guess, would like mention Chester's death. It, it is like it kind of seemed to me as if he was almost trying to make the general like Lincoln Park fans feel bad about not listening or giving more of a chance to Lincoln Park's final album. Uh, One more light. I think it's just got something more to do with fans just not liking it it's like i i don't think it was them being necessarily dicks about it or anything they just didn't like it they just didn't like they just didn't feel it was a good album i didn't really think it was a yeah i just didn't think it was a it wasn't a bad album i just didn't think it was a good lincoln park album and i think that's how a lot of fans felt and i, I just don't like the fact that in that video he kind of made people Kind of, yeah, it seemed kind of a bit antagonistic towards people who didn't really like that, you know, and almost made it seem as like, oh, was that a result of Chester's death? I don't know if it was or not, but yeah, I just really don't like the way he kind of comes off, you know, in some of his videos and stuff like that, how condescending he does try to come off as in those videos at all. It just really kind of strikes a chord with me. I'm not cool with that at all. Uh, but this was just a bit of a short video. Well, never mind. 17 minutes long. I guess it wasn't that short after all. But, um, yeah, this is just a video I wanted to make on kind of the reasons, uh, kind of my things I like and things I don't like about Finn McKenty, a.k.a. the punk rock NBA. Uh, I mean, I wasn't going to make any sort of comments about his wife i don't know his wife i don't know any of her content i don't know if she does youtube i mean i've heard uh, like i've heard people say some things about her but i'm like I, I i'm not gonna tackle that because i don't know anything about her nor do i really care to so yeah i'm kind of leaving her out of this thing but nevertheless let me know what you guys thought about this video uh, this rambling ass video of mine. <laughs> uh, did you do you agree with some of the points I made? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments down below. Have you even heard of Finn McKenty? Um, or if you have, do you like Finn McKenty? Do you not? Or if you haven't, are you going to check out Finn McKenty or are you not? Again, let me know in the comments section down below. Um, and if you like the sort of pros and cons videos that I do, or, you know, other top 10 videos or Let's Plays that I'm doing right now currently with such um, GTA San Andreas Definitive Edition and Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition. Um, if you want to stick around for those playthroughs and tier list and reviews of stuff such as music, movies, video games, TV shows, and uh, even books that I'm kind of working on doing in the future. Uh, if you want to be around for all that, man and be a part of the Booty Hunter family, then by all means, click that subscribe button, click that notification bell right next to it. Uh, and when you click that notification bell, click all uploads so that you never miss an upload from your boy. And with that being said, this has been your boy, TW Booty Hunter, giving you guys another banger. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you for being an ass and not watching the whole video. You didn't listen to a single damn thing I said. Thank you for being an ass, only hearing what you wanted to and getting butt hurt 
like the sensitive little bitch you are. Thank you for being an ass.